guys, Pete here from Pete's Tools. Awesome to see you here again. Today I want to talk about the uh, replacement plasma cutter drag guns and which is the best for your small plasma cutter and what you can replace them with. Anyway guys, have a look at the old video, see what you think. Drop a like, drop a comment, let me know what you what you think and uh, let's get to it. Oh yeah guys, uh, today I want to talk about the uh, three different sorts of plasma torches that we have available for the old um, 35 to like 50 amp plasma cutters as long as they're uh, uh, HF which is a uh, high frequency start which um, basically means that when you push the button like that you have to make contact with the work to get your, to get your flame flying out the end of it uh, we're not talking about pilot art because pilot art is when you push the button like so the flame comes out and you don't have to make contact with your work to get it to go so um, yeah, that's basically the difference. So th these are just the uh, little plasma cutters that we all buy on Amazon and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, but these three torches basically are interchangeable with um, with most of those little uh, plasma cutters. And I just want to talk about the difference in the and the consumables and that sort of thing. Like first we have a PT31 torch here, which is a uh, the basic plasma cutter torch. It comes out with a lot of generic plasma cutters. They come out with this sort of torch. And we have the um, the basic consumables here. It's just a basic torch. The thing I like about the T31 torch is that it has a double-ended electrode, like so. And they're really cheap to buy these these consumables. So when you burn out this side of it, all you do is turn her over, like so. Stick them back in there, and then reassemble it, and you can you're good to go again. And they print these out like like thousands or thousands of time, I think. So that they're quite cheap, and um, they're a good torch if you just want to cut basic plate and that sort of stuff. You know, if if you're, uh, you're not in a in a workshop or something like that, you're just doing shit in your garage. It's all good. This is what I use, and I was cutting heaps, and I was cutting like 24 sheets of plate a day. I was using this torch and these consumables because a the torch is as cheap as chips to buy, and the consumables are as cheap as chips to buy as well. But if you, just, you know, I was just doing straight cuts and that sort of thing, and I was after value because I don't know if you've watched any of my videos before, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm cheap, but I like a bargain, you know how it is. So this is just the PT31 torch, and like I said, this is a, this is interchangeable with any small plasma cutter like that under under 50 amp, as long as it's HF start. So this is the one I use, and um, this is about the cheapest of the of the whole lot with the consumables and all the stuff like that. And then the next one, guys, is the uh, SG51 torch. Um, yeah, and this one here becomes much the same. It depends what country you're in and what, what the manufacturer has got the torch to supply with the, with the machine that you've got, if you understand, because all these torches are interchangeable, and it just depends where you bought it from, basically. And the SG51 is like this, but this is a, a little bit... Although it looks much the same is this torch. The consumables are a little bit more expensive for this and um, the disadvantage of this is that it has the same thing, the swirl ring and, and all the rest of it. But the, um, let me put that down there. But the electrodes on this, oops, drop it, why don't you? The electrodes on this, see they're only single use, basically you can't turn them around because they have a thread on the end there like so that screws into here and we'll screw that in there so you can only basically use them once, and um, yeah, and they're dearer than the, than these ones here. They're dearer than the PT31 torch. So if you were replacing your torch personally, well, just personally, I would use the PT31 because the torches and everything are cheaper. But it just depends what you want. And these have a plastic nozzle with a um, brass insert, or you can also get it in a ceramic nozzle like this and these obviously don't last as long as, as as these ones but once again it depends what you're doing if, if you're doing a lot of close quarters cutting where you're getting a lot of heat coming straight back up at the gun then I would use the um, the ceramic ones they do crack but they're cheap to replace but if you're doing a lot of uh, a work on flat plate or something like that where, where it doesn't get so much blowback then I'd use one of these but they're, like I said, they're a little bit dearer but if you use these in close quarters, you'll tend to melt the melt the uh, cap and that sort of thing. But like I say, these two torches here are compatible with each other. Um, you can put them basically on the same machine. Which leads us to our last torch, which is here. 
which is the um, the AG60 torch, which is a nice torch as well, which is a bit more of a bit more of a I don't know what you call it. It's a flasher torch. It's an ergonomic torch. Really, it's got the thing here where you put your hose and it, and it swirls around like that. And this one here, the advantage of this here is that it um, it has a guide on it to hold that out from your work, like so. And uh, your consumables will last a little bit longer. So if you take the um, the ceramic off here, like so, and you compare it with like with this ceramic, you see that this this ceramic here doesn't have a have a place to put the wire guide. So you're basically just touching it. You're basically just touching it on your work, and you're trying to hold it out the right distance from your work. Whereas this has the spacer on it, which will hold it out automatically. And um, the, once again, these torches here are a little bit dearer than these ones here and the consumables are, the consumables are about compatible with these two and the cheapest consumables are with the PT31 like so once again these here have your cutting tip like so and your electrode in there like so but once again this electrode here is only single use, it's not reversible because it screws into the um, screws into the torch head like that and then this goes on top and this torch here the ceramic is actually embedded in the torch here which you need to watch out for because these can crack and other bits and pieces as well whereas the other ones have this the ceramic the the swirl ring as they call it that guy over the top so this here is once again single use electrode and single use cutting nozzle and the consumables for these like i said they're a little bit dearer as well and uh, but I like this torch and this torch here is for more cutting plate and that sort of thing and I'd use this torch for um, car body restoration and that sort of thing because it's really nice it looks nice you know and it's um yeah it just feels nice on your hand you know I think they call it ergonomic but I'm not up with all that stuff what they call them but it just feels nice on your hand and it's easy to control and it's nice to hold out of the you know, you get the good spacing between your work and the electrode, which makes it last a little bit longer. But once again, I don't think it's as good a value as this one, because this has the reversible consumables. And this is just the everyday torch that I just use for hacking and cutting and, and all the rest of it. But this is what I'd use more for, for like, um, body work on the car and, and that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, I hope that um, sort of explained it a little bit to you. I hope it wasn't too gibberishy for you. Um, hope you like my videos. If you like my videos, just... Um, just subscribe or uh, click a like and the old like down below or drop a comment if you have any questions or anything. I'll be more than happy to have a bit of a yarn to you. And, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Now you know which one you would choose for your uh, plasma cutter for your special needs. That's all good. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. Come in say hi. Say hi, Pete from Pete's Tools. How are we going today? Anyway, guys, great to see you here. We'll see you next time. Thanks.